Reporting live, the breaking news is that Shot City has a new gun. Welcome to Shot City, baby! Hey folks, Shot City here. I'm back. I have returned after a while of not doing videos. Um, I'm back, and today I've got a M&P Sport 2 AR-15 by Smith & Wesson. You can see this gun comes in a cardboard box. So let's open this up. You see the box is padded on the inside. Um, this one I bought used, so it does have a few upgrades to it. Um, like for example, you would normally get the plastic handguard with this gun. Uh, that has been switched out for a quad rail, which you can see here. On the firearm. Uh, also, you've got a little uh, foreign grip here, which is kind of nice to have on there. And then also, it came with these little rubber pieces that attach to the quad rail. They're kind of nice. Like if I'm shooting like 300 rounds through the gun and the quad rail is getting hot. I'm able to have these on there and you know I don't have to use gloves or anything and I don't have to risk burning my hands which is always a plus. So with this firearm you get a standard you know AR style, M4 style front sight. Then you've got a Magpul rear sight on here. It's a Magpul uh, flip up sight. This is the polymer sight. It's not the Magpul Pro uh, Karn sight. And then you have a telescoping stock and it's adjustable all the way through. So wherever fits you best. You've got a little attachment for a sling if you want to put one on. And then that goes with the stock as well. It has an attachment on back. You have your grip that has been switched out. This is an ergo grip on here. I didn't make any of these upgrades myself. Um, it was a good deal. It came with all this stuff already done. So can't beat that. All right, so let's get to the real functions of the gun. You've got a Picatinny rail up top which normally I was running the ACOG on this so just for fun I put my ACOG back on here but actually this ACOG is going to go on another rifle that I recently purchased but the ACOG does make it look pretty sweet can't lie all right so You've got a Picatinny rail. You can attach any type of optic you want up top. Then you've got a safety switch. So you switch that to safe or fire. Let me cock this. So right now safe. Switch it to fire. And that's all there is to that. Then you've got your charging handle. So you would pull your charging handle back to load the firearm. So let's see if we can lock this bolt back. So you'll pull your charging handle and then move your bolt release forward and that will lock the bolt back. So you can see this bolt is locked back and then I'll slap this paddle right here, moving the bolt release backwards, and it will close the bolt. And that is how you would chamber around into this firearm. Besides just putting a magazine in and pulling the charging handle back. And you want to make sure you pull that charging handle all the way back, or else you may not fully chamber the round. And that's what the forward assist is for. So if you pull the charging handle back 
and you loaded the round just short, you could press the forward assist multiple times until the bolt fully closed. And that's the idea of a forward assist. You've got a dust cover on this gun. I believe that the original MMP Sports didn't come with the forward assist, and I think they didn't come with dust covers either. But correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, and that is pretty much it for just basic functionality of the gun. You'll see here, right above the safety switch, that there's a little pin. You press that pin, pull it all the way through, and then you can remove your lower from your upper, or just split it in half basically. And then you can pull that charging handle and this is how you would clean the firearm and get your bolt carrier group out. So pull that bolt carrier group out and you can pull your charging handle out. And I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna move this box out the way. I don't think I told you guys about the magazines yet. You can either get a Magpul P-Mag, which is 30 rounds, which would most likely come with the gun. Usually they come with the Generation 2s. Or you could still get the Still Magazine that I'm not really sure that they're even still making these with the MP Sport 2s, but it's a possibility, so you'll get either one of those. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can have a better picture. Okay, so you got your gun broken apart, and these are the two components. I mean, you could probably just put some oil on your charging handle, wipe it down, and call that a day. Then you've got your bolt carrier group, or you'll hear a lot of people call it the BCG bolt carrier group. But basically, if you need to clean this and it's just a really quick clean, I'll just wipe it down, put some oil on it. Now, if you want to actually take it apart and clean it, you got to pull this little pin out of it. Pull that pin through. Then you've got to Get your firing pin out, and there it goes. You can just tap that out, and this is your firing pin. So it came from in here. Then there's another little piece, so it's like a little square block piece, the round shape at the bottom, and then voila your bolt will come out and you can clean each one of these pieces individually uh, try not to get any oil in the gas tube and that's pretty much all you need to know and then you can just reassemble it the same way you took it apart basically so what you'll do first is put your bolt back in and you want to drop your firing pin in here well actually sorry you need to put this piece get this piece working in first so you want to take it apart part and put it back together in basically opposite order and that's the best way to do it and you have to excuse me because I have not done this in a while but it's really simple
Then you'll put your firing pin in. And the firing pin will not go in unless this other section is lined up correctly. So there's no way to put this together wrong. There you go, you've got to turn it a little bit to the side so it's horizontal with the little gas tube here. Then you'll take this little piece and just slide it back through, which is sometimes difficult, but went in pretty easily. And then you'll just shake your bolt make sure it's operating correctly which this is and then you can put it back together once you've cleaned it and wiped it down a little bit and again you don't have to clean these all that well these guns can run relatively dirty so there you go you just put your charging handle back in don't want it to fall all the way in before you get your bolt carrier group in. Then you'll line your bolt carrier group up with your charging handle. It all can drop in together. nice little positive click when they're ready to go back in and then there you go and you just push that pin right back through and everything is locked up again and you can test it for functionality pull the trigger make sure everything's working and there you go, that's your MMP Sport 2. And guys, this is probably the last time you'll see this gun with me. Um, I'm going to attach a shooting video to the end of this video. It wasn't the best quality of video. The camera got turned in a weird angle, so I'll attach that anyway. I'm probably going to be selling this gun to one of my buddies. And I'll be showing you guys what... I got as a replacement for this which is pretty sweet and that's what this ACOG is going to go on as well so I'm just going to take this ACOG off now. Alright but I'm shot to see you guys and thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll put one more mag through it. This is what happens when you have a little bit of extra 223 ammo sitting around. You need to clear out the safe a little bit.
Hey folks, what's up? It's Shot City here. I've got my AR-15 out here. This is a MMP Sport 2. Looking pretty nice, man. So, I'm going to do a tabletop review on it. There's no point in getting into all the details out here. So let's just get to the shooting. Messing this pumpkin up. There you have it. 30 rounds with the MMP Sport 2. This is a nice fire on the shoe. Really nothing to it with the AR. Just make sure you got your sight sighted in and you're good.